Hello everyone, so I'm going to be walking through the steps into getting the most efficient rune drag all done in the quickest amount of time. I think you can get it done in 30 days or less. And again, I'm going to be walking through each and every step into completing the rune drag alt. This account has 207 quest points and Dragon Slayer 2 down, obviously. Those would be the requirements, at least 200 quest points. So if you're going to make one of these, just make sure you can go through the quest grind. Obviously, it's going to require a lot of items, a lot of time being at the Grand Exchange, a lot of teleports. So I am going to walk through the easiest and best way to get the Rune Drag Alt completed. I'm going to walk through the, where did Hans go? He just teleported. What? I was just going to check my time played. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to be going through each and every step of the best and most efficient way. This account I know is 46 days played, which I'll show here in a second. Um, but again, the best way to get that stat requirement, every requirement on this account is actually the specific requirements you need. So if you are questioning like what stats you need, take a screenshot of this first and foremost, because this is going to be the minimal amount of stats. You need 60 agility rather than 61. But for the most part, this is the minimum amount of requirements you need to complete your alt. So keeping that in mind, you're going to be paying for prayer. You're going to be paying for smithing um, and a few other stats. I'll also be going over the cost of teleports, magic, range, your melee stats, how to train, all the best methods for skilling and what I did and how you can get it done again within 30 days or less. Alright everyone, so I'm just going to get straight into it now. So the first thing I want to say when making this rune draggle, you're going to want to stay free to play for the first couple days at least. Because the 5 mil that you use to pay for the bond, you're going to keep that and you can use it. It doesn't even matter for the first few days because what you're going to want to do is skill mainly, but you're mainly going to want to focus on your magic first. So you're going to do imp catcher to get yourself to 8 magic. From there, you're going to go to the Varrock Mage and use the Weaken spell uh, to get you to 11 Mage and then use Weaken to get to 19 Mage and then 19 Mage, you'll actually go to 59 from there. Um, so that's what I did personally. It's pretty fast uh, because you do need 59 for Family Crest. Family Crest is one of the most essential quests, in my opinion. Um, especially for getting the gauntlets to do like smithing and then uh, there's a couple other things but yeah so you'll you'll need 59 magic at least um, 59 magic will actually be very good though because then you can start killing bosses a lot more efficiently things like that and again at the end of the day this is all about the efficiency this is all about getting your rune dragon alt ready in 30 days or less right so from there, you'll then want to do Restless Ghost, so you'll get your Prayer XP. Uh, you'll then do Vampire Slayer, you'll do Cook's Assistant, you'll do Dorix Quest. You could honestly knock out all of these quests if you really want to, it's whichever you decide, but um, the teleports are more efficient when you're pay to play, so again, that's going to be a determination whether you want to walk um, or not. I personally did some of these quests in pay to play. Um, so you could use staminas and teleport quickly, so just keep that in mind. Um, so Doric's quest, you'll get your 11 mining, uh, which is very good early on. You'll do knight sword to get 29 smithing. And then at this point, you're going to do, you know, oaks to willows for wood cutting. I did willows all the way to 55. You are going to need at least 55 wood cutting. You're then going to want to do 50 fire making. You need at least 50 because you're going to be doing desert treasure. Um, you're going to need 66 cooking, which you only are required to get about 35 cooking in free to play. So stop at 35 when you're uh, in free to play. You'll do grapes from 35 to 66. Fishing, uh, I did that all in free to play as well. So you're going to do fly fishing in barbarian village while free to play. Uh, you're only going to need about 30 or so mining when you're free to play. Um, you can stay 11 if you want and then just do dig site quest. So I recommend to just stay 11 and then do dig site because dig site will take you from 11 to about 33. 
which is great. Knocks out all those early levels, so keep that in mind. Um, again, you're going to be getting 29 smithing through Knight Sword in free to play. So you're going to then go from 29 to 40. Um, so 29 to 40 uh, smithing you'll do from in Barak in free to, in free to play. You can go from uh, doing kites to plate bodies and you'll get 40 very fast. Um, from there, you're going to do your crafting. So you're going to do crafting emeralds. Uh, so find out what you can do to get to emeralds and then what uh, you do from uh, emeralds on. You'll do that till 62. And then from there, uh, you will have all of the necessary requirements for you to go to pay to play. So um, what you'll do first when you log into pay to play, once you have all those stat requirements, you will then buy 100 rings of wealth, 100 house tabs, 20 glories, 300 staminas, 300 super energies, 100 rings of dueling, 2-1-T games necklaces, and hydra bones. So you're going to want to buy some hydra bones. I would recommend to go to a calculator uh, to figure out how much it's going to be to get, uh, I would say get 55 prayer. Um, I would do priest in peril before you do that so you can get a little bit of prayer XP. So do priest in peril and then I would also go get boots of lightness in Ardoin. So at this point again you're already 59 magic you can teleport around get those boots of lightness quickly go to the wildy prayer altar and do the hydra bones uh, like i said it's less than around two mil xp or two mil gold sorry so it's less than like two mil gold to get around 55 prayer so get the 55 prayer um, i personally have 60 on all of my alts and i don't even use piety for anything so Again, you don't really need to waste the time to get 70. Next, you'll want to do Witch's House, which will give you a reward of 25 hit points. And again, all of this information will be in the bio down below. So keep that in mind, guys, so you can follow along. Uh, next, I would recommend to do Waterfall. You get 30 attack, 30 strength. Next, I would get uh, 10 fletching do, and then do Taurus Trap. Tor Strap will then get you from 1 to 26 agility with the two lamps. Then I would do Lost City, Nature Spirit, Jungle Potion, and Fairy Tale Part 1. The teleports are essential, guys, like I was talking about, to be most efficient, which is also something when you get into training, you're going to want the uh, construction, so 50 construction. So you'll eventually get that down the line so keep that in mind like that is one of the most essential things to being efficient because once you get 50 construction and you're starting to do nightmare zone you're going to unlock the scroll of redirection which will allow you to teleport to brimhaven yanil relica trollheim taverly so those are very fast especially when you're doing those the relica quests and you're doing the trollheim quests and you're doing the yeah, nil quests like Watchtower and you're doing Brimhaven quests like Jungle Potion and Taiwana Trio and um, the Shiloh Village quests. Uh, so there, there's so much efficiency that goes behind teleports. So um, once you do all these init initial quests, um, you know, you're getting to the point where you're going to complete all of them, which are required anyway for your 200 quest points. And then you're going to be uh, training to nightmare zone um, so again I'm not gonna go over the full list of every single quest but look into the bio guys I'm gonna break down you know which quests in order at least the starter ones the starter ones obviously you need to knock out first um, so doing those and then you're obviously gonna want to get these skill sets so um, 60 thieving is what you're gonna need you need 45 herbal or 60 agility all of these um, skills right here are the base for what you need for a rune drag alt these are like the minimum requirements uh, rune crafting i got by just having quests done so like lunar diplomacy gives rune crafting experience uh, the eyes of glofi gives rune crafting experience so i didn't personally get any rune crafting experience on this account uh, it's all from quests so that's the one skill you do not have to train 
all the other skills you have to do some sort of training even farming so um you get some farming experience from fairy tale part one which is great uh, but like i said you, the only stat you don't have to train i guess is hunter as well i did only the history quiz um, in Varrock to get that up um, and then tiers of Guthix. so again uh, keeping in mind there are some best and you know best in slot items obviously but then there's best slot methods to get those skills up uh, agility is just the rooftops um, fletching I actually got my quests alone as well so I don't think I personally trained that um, slayer I did as a higher level once I was done NMZ um, and I used a cannon so using the cannon to uh, fire giants so I was able to basically get this in like one or two tasks um, and then yeah it looks like everything else is covered you'll want to do NMZ for range melee all the way to 70 uh, or after 70 rather because you'll want to do sand crabs um, to you know 30 to 70 so yeah uh, that's basically it if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments uh, I will respond with if I didn't touch over it the best you know methods but all of them all the stats requirements aren't really too harsh um, the mining takes probably the longest along with agility um, the the smithing you can do in just a few hours most of these you can do in just a few hours guys it really is not a long time what's going to be a long time is you know obviously doing the quests and gathering all the items and running to the npcs um, and obviously you're going to be spending a little bit of money as well so if you guys have any questions though let me know peace